Jorg Anton Erlob. Jorg Anton Erlob, 20 June 1713, 20 February 1759, was a Baroque painter from Franconia. He was associated for part of his career with the court of the Prince Bishop of Würzburg and painted portraits and also many frescoes and altar pieces for churches in Lower Franconia. Early Life and Education Georg Anton Erlov was born in Thundersheim, the first or second of nine children of Anna Maria Fesser and Georg Sebastian Erlov. His father and his grandfather Egidius were also painters, as were two of his brothers, Johann Georg and Georg Christian. Beginning in 1735, he was working at the Würzburg residence under Prince Bishop Friedrich Karl von Skonborn, probably as an assistant and student of the court painter Johann Rudolf Weiss. Weiss was 73 at the time, and Erlob knew that he was held in high esteem by von Skonborn, who was seeking a suitable successor for him. In 1735, Erlob created a self-portrait in pastels, including two works in progress to display his work ethic as well as his abilities. Around 1737, he painted two small allegories celebrating the Prince Bishop's virtues as a ruler and wishing him a long life, and also displaying his education. In autumn 1737, von Skonborn sent him to study at the Academy of Fine Arts in Vienna, apparently with an annual stipend of 200 guilders. Erlaub remained there until 1741. In 1739, he wrote to his patron complaining about the relative lack of professors for the large number of students and asking for funds to study under the Italian painter Federico Benkevich. In February 1740, he again asked for more money, saying he wanted to hire one of the empty rooms in the Palais Scanborn on Lauding Gas. And in, in December 1740, the architect Johann Lucas von Hildebrandt noted that Erlob also had a gift for sculpture. In August 1740, one he was summoned back, and the following year was appointed as a court painter, and in September assigned an assistant. However, he chafed at having to execute reverse glass painting for the residence that had been designed by the court sculptor, Johann Wolfgang van der Aura, rather than perfecting his skills. Italy In mid minus 1774 Erlaub resigned his post and went to Bologna to study at the Accademia Clementina, a renowned art school. In October 1745 he won the prize in the second sculpture class. However, in 1746, he was forced to interrupt his studies for lack of money. He wrote to von Skonborn requesting financial assistance and a commission. But without success, his is the only known case of an artist voluntarily leaving the security of von Skonborn's court. Naja Nott, who wrote a doctoral dissertation on Erlob, found a contract with the stucco artist Antonio Bossi and suggested that the Prince Bishop required all artists for whose education he paid to pledge in exchange to remain working for him. In January 1747, Giovanni Antonio Erlau di Franconia won the prizes for the first classes in figure drawing and sculpture, among the highest distinctions awarded at the institution. In 1749, Erlau was in Venice, the then center of modern Italian painting, where his notebooks show that he studied work by both Giambattista Taipalo and the Guardies. When Karl Philipp von Grafenklau zu Walraths became Prince Bishop. However, he also ignored Erlaub's requests. Return to Würzburg. Erlaub returned to Franconia in 1751, the end of approximately ten years as a journeyman. He was commissioned by Langheim Abbey to create an altarpiece for the parish church in Merkerschossen. The following year, he was commissioned to create another altarpiece for the Dominican church in Würzburg, which was destroyed in the bombing attack on the city on 16 March 1945. Also in 1752, he was commissioned to create a fresco for the Abthausen church, and the following year, another for the parish church of Eichhausen. The Dominicans and Carthusians gave him further commissions between 1753 in 1756, he had so much work in Würzburg that he requested citizenship, which he received on 9 October 1755. 
he was the first local artist to receive such prestige commissions in the city and in eighteen sixty in the first history of art in Würzburg, Andreas Niedermeyer called him and his brothers some of the best painters who worked there. When Adam Friedrich von Seinsheim became Prince Bishop, he gave Erlaub a position as cabinet's inspector, with the title of Kammerdiener chamber attendant, but did not pay him highly. During the Seven Years' War, Erlaub painted frescoes and decorative paintings in the region, for example in Kanaim in 1756, and Sonderhofen in 1757, he also painted portraits at court. On 15 September 1757, he succeeded Franz Ignaz Roth as court painter. Private Life and Death On 13 October 1755, Erlaub married Anna Maria, who was also from Thungersheim, and was a distant cousin of his requiring a dispensation. Their first child, George Adam Anton Erlaub was born the following year and died on 17 August 1776. Their second child, George Hermann Joseph, was born in 1758 but died at six months of age on 28 October. Erlaub himself died in Morsberg on 20 February the following year. He was buried in the cemetery of the Dominican Abbey. In 1762, his widow married Johann Octavian Salver who became archivist to the Prince Bishop in 1773. Selected Works George Anton Erlaub's Works, works 